What's going on guys? It's your boy Julius. Back at it with another video. Today I'm gonna talk about how I installed this l track system. This right here, it's a mounting system in the back of Project F-150. Let's go. So I got this l track systems off of, I want to say it was called uscargo.com. Um, I will have a link in the description. Um, I bought two different kits. One kit that I bought was a two piece. Um, it was actually going to be, it's actually a six piece. You get two rails and you get four of these rings. And then the other piece I bought was this one here. It came in 72 inches, so I had to cut it. And I used that piece that I cut off, I used it here, along with a few other of these rings here so it's two kits that i bought um just to make sure that i had enough tie downs to tie down um you know two three bikes or whatever i have whatever it is that i need to put in the back of the truck i can tie it down it was very difficult to tie two sport bikes in the back of the truck with the four stock tie down mounts around the edges so i wanted to add these just to give me more uh, room to configure and, and put straps down and even the other things like the ramp and stuff like that, there, there's more places to tie stuff down in the back of the truck without me having to worry about it. So these things are rated at a thousand pounds each and they're very easy. You you have the ring here, you push it down and then you slide it along the system. You can take it all the way off. As you see, it's round. So you put it in one of the openings and you move it right over, it clicks into place and you can't pull it off. Um, rated for like a thousand pounds. One thing that you do want to do is you do want to buy some backing plates. So I'll get under the truck and show you that in a second. You do want to buy some some backing plates because if you just put the bolts and nuts through the bed, the bed is actually very thin. So as you tighten it, it will pull it right through. Um, maybe not the first time you use it, but after a few times of ratchet uh, tie downs or putting bikes in, it will pull the screws loose. So I do have bracing along the bottom side of the truck and along the back side of this one so uh, when you buy the kit you do have to buy um, the screws I don't know why it doesn't come with screws but make sure you do buy the screws from them because I went to Home Depot to try to purchase some screws and it caused me to have to do some modification and make the holes a little bigger so that was kind of a pain in the ass so when you do purchase this buy a couple packs of screws depending on how long it is depends on how many holes you need or how many uh, screws you need how many holes you'll have in each track you can't even purchase ones that don't have holes already i purchased one that had holes knowing what i know now i will probably get one that doesn't and put my own holes in it uh just because as i installed this there's braces under the bed of the truck there's the frame there's braces not every screw hole is is reachable on the bottom so something you have to be wary about there was probably two holes that the screws are just kind of set in there they're not really tied down um, so something that I learned something that you know I can tell you guys to do better just probably buy one that doesn't have the holes already in it that way you can drill them where you need them or if you do have the ones that have the holes already in it just prepare just be prepared to cut them and kind of move them around the bracing under the bottom of the truck so let me get under the truck and show you guys what i'm talking about so here we are under the truck and that's that little middle piece so as you see i, I bought this metal piece from home depot and it was actually long. I think they're like six feet long. I ended up cutting those and also painting them because they're raw steel. So I painted them just to prevent rust. So be sure to paint that. And that's the little middle piece. These are the braces that I'm talking about. So depending on what truck you have, I, I did have one screw that fell right inside. And that's why I wasn't able to put the uh, bolt on the back. So as you can see here from the bottom, let's go to this side. 
you see it's braced and then there's a gap and then I have more bracing. So there's a screw that fell right in the middle of there. So that's something that I didn't know until I started doing the job. So now I can tell you guys what to look out for. Um, so yeah, both sides, I wanna say I had to cut it into three pieces. There's here, then the next one, and then there's one more front. Then the other thing you have to be weary about is the gas tank here. So here is the gas tank. I have a 36 gallon on this truck. So it was very difficult to reach around. I'm not sure what the gas tanks are like, are like on other trucks, so you might not even be able to reach around. So before you do the project, just be sure to look at your location that you want to install these L tracks. You know, look at the location, see if you can mark them. And before you start drilling holes into the bed of the truck, just take a look under there and see if you will have access in the locations that you want to drill. Um, drilling the truck was something that hurt my feelings, I'm not going to lie, but after one or two holes, it's very easy you know it's it's not something that you really can mess up and even if you do as long as you're in a straight line and you drill a little off it's not a big deal i didn't even try to bother with marking it i just put the track down and drilled the holes right there that way i had no spacing or fitment issues um yeah so that's how you install the l track so far i have loaded up the bikes in here it works out really good um i can load up the bikes the ramp the uh the stands whatever else i need i have enough locations to tie these things down and like i said you can move these anywhere around the truck you want take them off of here put them on the floor and it's just it's a very versatile system so this one is also backed this is on the bed of the truck on the side um i also have a the same piece of backing here it's one full piece this was very difficult to do because the lip of the truck it goes it's flat here and then on the back side it comes down so unless you're the easiest way to do this really would be to remove the bed of the truck um unfortunately that wasn't an option for me uh if you do have that option you really don't even have to remove it if you can just loosen the bed and slide it back a little bit and and get that space you need it would make it a whole lot easier but i just i wasn't able to get it done with the tools that i had so luckily i had help um i put the bar back here and i just kind of reached back here and held it up while my helper my lady she screwed the screws in for me and you know teamwork made the dream work so we got it done so if you do have help you will need it there unless you're removing the bed uh that's the only real difficult part of the job was this one this took a while so there it is guys the l track system i did this just because we do have a trip coming up and we do plan on loading my 2008 Hayabusa and her 2018 R6 in the back of the truck. So instead of risking, you know, scratching each other's bikes with straps, trying to go around and, and, and just playing with how we were going to do it. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough tie downs, be secure. I know there's a lot of mountains up in North Carolina where we're going to. So I wanted to just make sure as we're turning around those mountains and the weight is shifting, it was gonna be in there secured and safe. All right guys, so that's how you install the l track system in the back of a pickup truck. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I will try to put some clips um, throughout the video, but unfortunately I recorded in the garage and I didn't notice that my lighting just sucked. So that's why you got this video after it's done because i did get a lot of footage of me putting it in but the footage was just too dark so if you have any questions feel free to hit me up i will put a link in the description to where i got this from they also have a lot of different attachment points that you can use here you don't just need to use those rings so like i said i have a link in the description and uh you can look it up and, and see what you need see what you like and if you have any questions definitely feel free to hit me up so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe comment the next video we're gonna be loading the bikes up and heading to the dragon so stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time have a good one